So I was just scrolling through Instagram and came across an Instagram story um, from someone who we follow each other on Instagram as well as on here. They subscribe to me on here as well. And when they see this video, they're probably going to realize that this is where it came from because my goodness. So we have another Blackaren entry today, but it's not about anyone in particular, but it's more of a mindset. So this Instagram page is called Black Voices Uncensored. And this post that I'm going to scroll through is going to show you basically divestors remorse and the crazy part about it is the talking points that they use is some of the same old same old but the way they ended it off is absolutely downright hilarious y'all are probably going to get a kick out of how they ended this because i know i did when i first scrolled through it so this thing says black woman complains about her white husband calling her racial slurs while they're having sex and you want to know what this isn't surprising because I've come across uh, scenarios where this has come up quite often, but hey, they are the better choice. According to them, they, and y'all know who I'm referring to when I say they are apparently the better choice in their eyes. So who are we, who am I to stop them? Because you know, apparently they can't, they, you can't tell them anything else. So, hey, it is what it is, but let's scroll through this. So this is a real person. It says, dear Abiola. My man keeps calling me nigger bitch during sex and I hate it. I have been married for a year and I am at my wits end. She's been married for a year and this man has been calling her that slur for a year and she stayed with him that long. See, this is the thing about the divester. They hate black men so much and call us all types of names, this, that, and the third. And some of them wish death on us and some would say abort us. But they'll get with bottom shelf Brad and deal with his shenanigans for a year and then write these sad love song haiku soliloquies to people who they think will listen to them and expect people to feel bad for them the comment section is is funny as well i don't know if i'm gonna go through the comment section but the people were going in on this person who ever wrote this uh this uh letter both black men and black women are like, I had to throw that in there because a lot of people will think that black women will just let this slide. Why does this kept? It's a lot of black women that are not on the BS like these divestors are. But let's continue. They said, my investment banker husband is from a white old money family. I'm a first generation black American woman whose family is from the island of Jamaica. So she's one of those tethers. Now the surprise there, like, uh, she's checking off all the boxes right now. We met at a reunion for the Ivy League school we both attended, and he proposed in six months. Oh, she just couldn't wait. She couldn't wait. Six months? That's rather quickly, you know, to get engaged, but let's continue. We have the picture-perfect fantasy life. He wines and dines me, and we travel sh and shop the globe. Unlike all of the black men I've dated in the past... Let me stop right there. This is another thing that Divesta loves to do. They love to write these BS letters about their PC partner calling them all kinds of slurs, but they'll find a way to slip black men in there. She said, unlike all the black men I've dated in the past, my husband is generous, loyal, committed, and considerate. But how is he all of those things? And he's calling you nigger bitch while y'all are having sex. And he's apparently been doing this for a year or for as long as y'all have been together. And I have a feeling... She's lowballing this. I have a feeling he's been calling her all types of slurs even outside of them having sex. What kind of slave fantasy is she into? That that's now that's slave play. Like that that Broadway production, that's some slave play shit right here. But she had made sure she had to slip in black men in a negative way, unlike all the black men I've dated in the past, but she got her white knight and now she's trying to get out of it. Why doesn't she try to get out of it the same way she got out of it with the black men that she's dating? I bet she's the common denominator of all those failed relationships. But she'll have you to believe, based on what she wrote, that it was black men's fault why the relationship didn't work. That's another common theme a lot of these divestors have, is they'll get in a relationship with black men, multiple black men, and swear up and down that the relationship didn't work because it was the black man's fault. It was something he did or did not do, something he did or did not bring to the table, something did or did not do with finances or anything like that when she's the common denominator, but she gets with a PC and he can check off all the negative boxes, but to her, because he's like the figure or seen in society as the, uh, as the, uh, 
superior male, she can blind, she can blindside herself to all of that. She turns off her vision and becomes blind to the bullshit. Like I said, this one letter I'm reading right now is a common theme with all divesters. And I do mean all of them. He courted me and I never have to pay for anything. He said I could quit my job and I did. He makes me feel like a woman. So basically because he allowed you to be spoiled and be lazy, because let's be real here, she's being lazy. That makes him the superior man. But she's trying to get out of this relationship, but she's trying to make him stop saying or calling her what he calls her while they're having sex. Every time we try having sex again, the slur flies. Our sex life is pretty much over right now because I pretend to be asleep every time my sexy, handsome man wants to be with me. <laughs> this woman is delusional. How are you going to say in one breath that you, every time you're trying to have sex, the slurs fly, which is in a negative, and your sex life is pretty much over, and you pretend to be asleep, but then give him a compliment by calling him sexy and handsome? See, this is the delusions of the divester. I think I might actually call this title of the video that the delusions of the divester examining the delusional. Di no, I think I already had a delusional one. I need to come up with another name as far as like a thumbnail title. But the yeah, this individual right here is insane. I feel completely turned off. I love my husband deeply, so please don't tell me to leave him because that's not what I want to do. <laughs> oh, my God. This shit is sad and funny at the same time. My husband was my first interracial relationship. I'm somehow not surprised by that. Please tell me racial slurs aren't normal between interracial couples. Hmm. I would like to figure this out before we have kids, but I can't afford to leave him and still maintain my lifestyle. How can I regain my sexual attraction for my husband? Signed, black and proud. That's the funny part. She ended this off black and proud. She can't be that black and proud if, one, she's in this interracial relationship that's, give, that's pretty much an interracial relationship from hell. Now, you see how she wrote all of this she laid out all the negatives about this white man that she's laid up with who she's married to she laid out all these negatives called you know with the slurs and everything like that saying the sex life is pretty much done you know she pretends to be asleep when he know if he initiates wanting to have sex with her but she doesn't want to have it because of the slurs which basically tells me she is writing this letter to a complete stranger about how to assist her with the racism that's going on in her relationship instead of actually having the conversation with the person who's being racist towards her which is her husband which lets me know she's scared of her husband or she's scared to bring this up because like she says she doesn't want to leave and she knows to bring this up would mean that he's going to probably flip off on her he might go up and pull a oops upside the head maybe a chad walker i mean a chad wheeler and leave she said it right there i want to figure this out before we have kids but i can't afford to leave them and still maintain my lifestyle she's willing to go through hell with this racist individual to maintain a lifestyle and still talk shit about black men again the delusions of the divester and all of them think just like this every last one of them they all have that same mindset. Black men ain't this. Black men ain't that. Black men ain't shit. Black men is, is not this. But white knight is all of this in a bag of chips. But they're going through the same thing that she's going through. I'm willing to bet. And you know, they'll put up a facade on social media. The, all the pictures of them smiling and laughing and giggling and, you know, seemingly being happy. But behind closed doors, when their social media is turned off, when the phone is put down and there's no cameras or anything like that, what's really going on? She laid it out right here and then said, signed, black and proud. How are you so black and so proud when you're going through a literal hell on earth with your white husband? Like, I'm not understanding. 
And like I said, the people in the comments section are rightfully clowning her. I'm going to read some. I told myself I wasn't going to read any of them, but I'm going to read some of them. Someone said, is this a joke? This cannot be real. Someone else said, definitely not black and proud. Another person said, girl, bye. We don't care. You choose this lifestyle. Someone else said, if she's divested, she's not protected. Uh, someone else said, now imagine what he's going to say to the kids. Hopefully they do not procreate. And, and it's a multitude of reasons of why. One, she doesn't, with this mindset, she doesn't even deserve kids. Even if she gets out of this relationship and gets with somebody else, she doesn't even need to bring children into this world. Not with her level of thinking. She does not need to bring any child into this world. Now, like I said, she said this is her first interracial relationship, interracial relationship. She's been with multiple black men, had nothing but contempt for black men in the little piece that she said. But she went through all of this shit and still is willing to go through and fight through this and still deal with the BS with one white guy. The first one she's ever been in an interracial relationship with. And again, she's first generation, a, a black American. Which means, like I said, she's a tether. Her lineage goes back to Jamaica. She's basically, her parents are from Jamaica. They import, they got imported over here and they had, you know, procreated and had her. And now she's first generation American. She's the first of her line, of her lineage to be born in the U.S. Like she's checking off all the boxes. Let me continue reading some more of these comments. Someone else says she still found a way to make it about black men which we already discussed. She says, call him some names back. And so when they put the, 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 the uh, shoulder shrug emoji, but we know she ain't going to do that because if she wanted to, she would have did it. But I bet you those black men that she was dating, she probably said they were all, they were ain't shit. She probably all called them all types of dusty and beta, whatever she could think of or any type of uh, derogatory term that she could think of in her own uh, lineage, uh, not lineage, her own dialect. You know her own language when it comes to Jamaica. Someone else says something you have to deal with. Someone said this is nothing new. Wake up, people, and stay with your own. Uh, someone said that's what she gets for marrying a white man. He has zero respect for her because she doesn't respect herself. And by the way, like I said, a lot of these comments I'm reading are mixed between black men and black women. It's not just black men going in on her. I have to reiterate that because some people say, "Oh, why is it, it black men constantly going in on her?" Well, first off, it's a good thing that black men are going in on her, considering what she had to say about black men in this little BS letter. And black women are checking her too because they. Are, quite as a cop not every black woman wants to be with a white man not every black woman wants to divest them divesters are some of the worst people on this earth look at what they did with tina knows sit calling her a mammy and a pick me and a whole bunch of other things i'm not gonna say let's see i'm gonna read a couple more someone says i don't care anymore one way or the other i wash my hands of them someone said bro the fact that she signed off with black and proud ain't no way bro reading this I see money will help women overlook just about anything at this point. Exactly. She got blindsided by his money and his status. She, you heard what she said? She married a white man who comes from a family with old money, which means she knows she was marrying into wealth or a piece of it, at least that she probably ain't going to get. That's why she don't want to leave. She ain't trying to leave the money. That's why she's dealing with his crap. And see, that's the stuff them divesters not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you if they get with someone like this who has status that they treat them like they ain't shit. But they'll have you believe that everything's going great in that relationship, but still have room and time to talk shit about black men. I'm going to read one more. It says she should leave him, but if she returned the favor and hit him, the white boy stereotypes, whether true or not, I bet he'd get the hint, especially if she starts hitting below the belt, which is, you know, talking about his manhood. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to end it right there. But yeah, this chick, whoever she is, Miss Black and Proud, that's a joke. You're an idiot. Whoever this is who wrote this, you are a fool. And you deserve whatever comes your way. The only thing I can say to you is good luck getting out of that relationship. But keep in mind and beware what has been going on lately for some of these divestors in the fourth quarter of 2021. In the latter part of the fourth quarter, might I add. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you are new, make sure you hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video or go live.